Kuchą i przedstawi wstępne wyniki swojej pracy na temat biodynamiki i dysków atrencyjnych, w szczególności dotyczy to mikrofazara IGR, jak się wymyśli, że będzie mi się chyba od nie ma, więc będzie po polsku. Tematu mojej prezentacji jest modelowanie. Thank 
dynamics. Uh, we uh, we can uh, we, we we define a hydron uh, dynamics of with viscosity or without viscosity. The hydron dynamics which I use is uh, hydron dynamic with viscosity, but is not a simple sharp viscosity proportional to the gradient of uh, of velocity because density in accretion disks is too small to uh, to uh, share viscosity uh, half uh, to share viscosity uh, has a, a significant effect we uh, assume the Shakura Tsunei of the theory of, of the alpha viscosity. The non diagonal, we have a stress tensor. Non diagonal. So this is what old fashioned physics was about discussing. So why is this? Uh, viscosity well, or right, uh, great, uh, I mean, it, in, in a physics there are two viscosities, sure and non viscosities, right? Sure. And, uh, it, uh, it's they they, not they are both combined together, it's right? And if you assume that the shear viscosity is equal to zero and the bulk viscosity is different, so why not the polar bulk viscosity? It's not a simple Bulk viscosity, but is, uh, the uh, system is uh, turbulent and uh, it's non diagonal term of the stress tensor. We, we have. Uh, uh, so, uh, so uh, the viscosity term is, is not related to pressure. That, uh, in that was my next question. I mean, how come this is it? why it is not called bulk viscosity. Yeah, the, the, the question is not so Maybe it is an elasticity theory. It, it is. Why not elasticity? But elasticity. No, there, is, there, 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 you know, there is no other coefficient which, correct, which by a simple, by the Curie theorem, elasticity. there is something which cannot relate the diagonal terms of a stress tensor, which is pressure, to the off diagonal. The Curie theorem, I mean, the old, there is no Onsager coefficient which has the symmetry, so the question is what is wrong? But uh, here, uh, this is the turbulence, the alpha is between 0 and 1. But the tur sure. turbulence is an Measures average. The turbulence is average property, and it doesn't matter the equation of both. Yes, but alpha effectively yes. measures the scale of the turbulence with respect to the thickness of the disk and the speed of its turbulence with respect to the sound speed. So this is something I don't know. It's an uh, uh, assumption, uh, especially in the occlusion disks, not in the uh, general theory of hydrodynamics. So the, there is no pressure term here the, in the usual sense, which is the diagonal part. Oh, e, so there what is e, called pressure? Yeah, right. Pressure. Then, then what, why is this called pressure? Yeah, the, 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 because pressure I mean, usually it, is the coefficient it, it, that it, goes with the <coughs> mu. It becomes a linguistic issue. Pressure is... The, the, the pressure is defined. There is no other definition and no other physical meaning than to say that it's a trace. this is a trace of the stress tensor. Okay? And it is, uh, or the stress tensor is proportional to this, is, how you call it, self spherical symmetric, because the, the, the pressure is a term invented by Pascal to describe the Pascal theory of it. That's it. I mean, you, are, I mean, you are mixing ten different approaches. First of all, symmetric tensor can be decomposed to uh, trace and traceless part. And they belong to different representations yes. of rotation group, and this is very fundamental decomposition. So they yes. cannot mix. And 
the that's what tries that's to make a point using Curie theory. That's, that's, this, like that's the statement. That pressure is just the stress, uh, the, the trace of the yes. tensor, and not the uh, yeah. not the other representation. Yeah, but the, the Curie theorem says that the, these things yeah. cannot yeah. happen. Yeah, exactly. Because pure, if, if, uh, I mean, mathematically, you can write any equation, right? Yeah. But the physics, can, the symmetry principle tells you that they. So, I mean, but, but since there is no pressure here, yeah, there must be a pressure yeah, because there is a tra there is a trace of the stress tensor. Uh, I, I thought that there is no no non diagonal term. No, no, there, is there is a diagonal term plus something which is non diagonal. And somehow it's proportional to the diagonal. Effectively, is proportional. Effectively, is uh, to some constant. This is an assumption of this theory. This is identical with the theory. Yeah. This is <laughs> our input. We assume it. It's what what uh, bothers me a bit is that the R phi component is sort of directional. So. It's uh, and on the right hand side of the scalar. So which way does it go? Which way is the phi counted? P R P P R phi is a number and yeah. it's so not a number. number. It's not a number because in order to define P R phi, you must tell which way the angle phi is counted, clockwise or counted clockwise. It's not than a scalar because it depends on the orientation. We assume that it doesn't depend on the phi. We assume it here. The right hand side does not depend on the R and does not depend on the No, no, no. That was my But this is the component along the phi direction. Because the bulk viscosity appears in the Navier-Stokes equation, which whatever you say is buried here under all these names, it appears as a, as a term which is proportional to the gradient of a divergence of the velocity. So it has a direction, right? And the shear viscosity comes in two places. And we can play with the shear viscosity, but we cannot play with the bulk viscosity. Anyway, we will not solve the problem. problem. It's a kind of an equation of, of state, which is assumed that the shear. Yes, yes. And uh, the question is whether it is, the other questions I don't know is, are these equations relativistic? Uh, no. No, but... No, I'm sorry for asking the question. I mean, this is, uh, this is no, after no, no. all astrophysics. So they might be, uh, okay, if they are not no. uh, relativistic, then we are talking about the, uh, about the equation of state. For, and the legitimate question is, is this assumption that pi, which I understand, is equal to t, uh, uh, because there are the, the, the t r phi yes. is that so the, 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 the t is equal to phi. Yes. Okay, so the the, the the equation of state must be the objective, as they call it in the hydrodynamics. That means must be Galilean invariant. But and the question is, I I cannot see that this is a Galilean invariant equation. We are working in a pseudo Newtonian uh, yeah, I mean, approach, yeah. and uh, we. Uh, but the Newtonian mechanics is called Galilean mm -hmm. invariant. So, I, I mean, it, of course, it's unfair because if you would say it is relativistic, I would ask the same It is a place relativistic object, but in a pseudo Newtonian uh, approach. Yeah, but that. that I know that we can no, solve no, equations in any no, coordinate no. system, mm -hmm. but the but the equation of state mm -hmm. has to be of Galilean invariance, otherwise it violates the second law of thermodynamics. Is the second law of thermodynamics not not uh, violated by this? I, I don't know. I mean, it's I, I'm seeing this expression for for. I'm sorry for asking the question. But I mean, writing an equation of state is uh, is a tricky business because you have to satisfy the many serious not, uh, restrictions uh, for equation right? of state. Many serious things, like for example, second law of thermodynamics. 
We would like to have. Uh, it would be easier if somebody could read before the paper of Sunyai. Then I guess that would make it easier. Uh, it's surprising the question, therefore I'm asking the question. Yes. Right? The question is So no, I, 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 I think it's, but look, I mean, I'm trying to learn something for myself. I mean, I'm not questioning anything. I'm trying to understand I mean, how that fits into what I know. I mean, that uh, really proportionality to the, the, the time to the pressure may lead to the different uh, behavior. That uh, set of linearized equation is not uh, parabolic by hyper hyperbolic. It, it is more uh, convenient in to the relativistic behavior. So let's go on about physics of the model. Capital P is the same as small small P before, and capital D is like P right well, before. Yeah, and this that is changes is somehow does not change. It changes that a second. Because it's different definition because the, the stress tensor and the stress tensor is sometimes in the, with the minus sign. About uh, about uh, the energy losses that not I will not tell stress tensor uh, times uh, uh, derivative uh, times radial derivative of uh, the angular velocity. Something about luminosity because we have also the uh, relativistic effect is uh, uh, radiation pressure and the uh, radiation pressure there are two forces, the gravity, which uh, 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 which uh, push the matter onto uh, an object, onto a star, and the uh, radiation pressure, which push uh, the matter out uh, from the star. But if this is a black hole, is there radiation pressure? In, we not consider uh, the matter in a black hole, but uh, in, uh, in the area surrounding black oh. hole. In the the area the radiation that is in the pressure disk. Yes. Uh, minimal uh, then state. Then why is, it, why is it pushing it outwards if it's not coming from the center? <coughs> the radiation pressure push outwards the matter. Tell yes, me. but in all directions. In all, di in all directions. Okay. The uh, special value of luminosity for which uh, yeah. You see, that th this is the question I ask because you say that the force of gravitational attraction is equal to that of the radiation pressure, which would imply that the radiation pressure acts in the direction opposite to the gravitational attraction. But it does not. Because the radiation does not come from the center, but it's everywhere. So in what sense 
these two forces equalize. It's a Newtonian approach which uh, may uh, help us to uh, understand that process, but not a strict uh, general relativity model. No, no, I'm not questioning the relativity here, but radiation pressure is a pressure. Yeah. The pressure acts in all directions. Pressure, but we have uh, denser matter uh, closer to the black hole <coughs> and uh, more rarefied matter uh, in a farther regions in, and it is a gradient of pressure uh -huh. the pressure is proportion, proportional to the uh, is, there is two terms the gas pressure and the radi radiation pressure gas pressure is, it is an uh, ideal so gas model yeah, I, 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 I feel absurd I ask you a question, but is the pressure on the left of equation number nine this which appears in the equation of state? Yes. Then, then how come that the red, then imagine P with sub gas is equal to zero? Then how come that the pure radiation has this crazy discussion from where it comes from? We assume that there is a matter with. Yeah, but, uh, but th there is an expression TR5 equals alpha P. Yes. And if I substitute into P the equation number 9, then there is a contribution to the off diagonal in terms of a stress tensor which is proportional to the radiation pressure. To the total pressure. No, to the but, but it's at the additive. Equation was alpha P. So it's alpha P gas plus alpha P radiation. So now even if I, let's make P gas very small, then this crazy, uh, I'm sorry, this off diagonal term is all over the sudden proportion to the pressure, radiation pressure. No, how come, how, yeah, but how so come, the, what is the physics of it? Gas I, I know this is used, I'm not, I'm not trying to undermine the, what is being done, I'm trying to understand it. Okay, but if this is an effective approximation, some kind of effective theory, then it may not apply to the situation where the gas is so diluted that there is no gas pressure. But even if and it's so diluted, yeah. if, it's, if there is a term, then there is a contribution to the yeah. off-diagonal range, yeah. off-diagonal term, which is proportional to the radiation pressure. And I'm trying to understand what is that physical. And, uh, I, I'm, not, I'm not questioning what is being formulated. I'm trying to understand. I mean, if, if, if I have, I see. I like the Jew from the songs from the Christmas time. I understand the old God. There is. I know what is the stress tensor. Okay, TR5. Okay, I know what it is. And then I have the right hand side of it, and I know it must be built up by some physical principle. And one of them says that all of a sudden, in this system, whatever it is, we're talking about the macroscopic physics. We, we do have a relation which tells me that there is a part of the radial phi component of the stress, this radial, which we don't know in which direction it goes in addition, which is proportional to the radiation pressure. And the radiation pressure, at least until now, I was always assuming it's always spherical yes. symmetric. Our model, we... The, 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 do we have a wavelength which makes the light green in the we assume in that the the direction? Behavior of uh, gas uh, beyond uh, the uh, minimal stable orbit. At but the then it's such a deep radiation it's not the radiation pressure term, pressure, it's a pressure of an electromagnetic field in the gas. So there is a complicated relation most No, no, it is not, because you have written the old-fashioned formula. But because 
equation 11 tells me that there is no coupling it, it between the glass and radiation. It's black, black body. Yeah, it, so there is no coupling, right? This uniform pressure. Radiation is thermalized. <laughs> yes. Then how how it can have how can it contribute to the to the to the, to the, to the tangential drag? That's the point. It, uh, rationality. This is what bothered me at the beginning. Yeah, I mean, the, 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 which way is, does it go? I mean, you, you highlight symmetry. I mean, something which goes this Well, way. there is still something that we consider this accretion, this rotating in some direction, and this probably Yeah, but then that. there must be a physical coefficient. Yes. Which tells, in some sense, how the radiation is dragged by the, pre by the matter. That's right. Therefore, this equation number nine should not be P glass plus P radiation, but this what is called a P radiation is a is effective pressure which has a coefficient coupling, something like a dp over depolarization. I mean the, the, this matter is polarizable and it has polarized somehow. So there must be an Onsager coefficient. Which relates the, the which which will give this the relative. Otherwise, it, it's so go on. So we need to go to the stationary solution of discs. Uh, we assume the discs uh, make matter from hydrogen, yeah, ionized, especially ionized hydrogen. And uh, in our model, we consider that this, which is not infinitely thin, but uh, has a, a finite, a finite uh, thickness, uh, and uh, the uh, variables like uh, density, temperature, and uh, pressure are vertically averaged. So it is called uh, 1.5 dimensional boundaries. Not one open because we have uh, three dimensions and, uh, uh, and uh, uh, rotational axial uh, symmetry. And, uh, uh, Averaging on the, on the uh, z direction, and then the conservation. What is two plus and two minus? Is this, this 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 equation or this sum? Two plus is uh, is heating. Uh, q minus q minus is, uh, is uh, cooling. So, are they equal? Should be the, the sum. It is. It is. Uh, it is uh, the same. Uh, uh, it must be conservation of energy. So, the, what is, is emitted equal. from the surface must be the difference between. What is produced and we have the well, thermal radiation and the. Uh, if, if it's in thermal equilibrium, the viscosity must uh, be equal to what is absorbed. Yeah. Yeah. That, that's. that's that, so why, sorry, is it, why is it called the F top? That's the definition of equilibrium. F top, F -top is equal to the. But, Q I, plus. I, I feel ashamed, but I have And to is it equal to Q minus? Uh, in our uh, yeah. equilibrium yeah. approach, it is, is but minus not in the not, the not a the not stationary uh, case. It is yeah. not no, equal. No, this is not an error. We have the stationary case. Q minus is it is viscous. Q plus is viscous heating, and Q minus is radiative cooling. It is a assumption on special Oh, okay. 
that mean looks at this model, this accretion, this looks like a two dimensional panel. It has many layers. Yes, it has and layers. And maybe, don't, don't blame me for it. It is completely wrong. <laughs> that each of these layers, this onion layer, the skin, is in thermal equilibrium. But these thermal equilibria differ radially. And when they move with respect to each other, right? Right. If they move with respect to each other, then in a normal I, I don't know how that can be achieved, this, this situation, but, right? Because in the normal gas, that you, you cannot do this, right? But imagine you build up this mechanical system which consists of different layers, each of them in the equilibrium, with its own temperature, pressure, and blah, blah, blah. And they move with, with respect to each other. Go. And oh, then, okay. there, then, then there is a, a friction, lubrication kind of a friction. And that lubrication friction is for some reason completely symmetric all over this, this sphere. It only depends which layer is, which, 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 I mean, on which layer I'm sitting. And that is, and somehow that was by Mr. So it go on. Uh, proven, assuming proven, that this can be written as a function of a pressure model. If I now average everything and make the, 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 the average model for all these animals, but that's the only thing I can imagine. Then your question with the, the tradition is, of course, very complicated because each of them cannot radiate, but because they have, there are different equilibria, right? Then I have a system of, of a log. There might be radiation. If you, if you have many, many, many black bodies with different temperature, right? They might radiate. Right? No, but you, you, this one body is an average yes. object of these many bodies, so... Yes, exactly, this is what you are talking about. Is so I in, in the structure that is, of the accretion layer with the radius. Goodness. There's strips of matter, or layers, as you say, uh, rotating with capillary velocity, which depends on radius, so this is a differential so equation. They shear against that. each other. So the story is rather about subtle rings or something like yes. this. Yeah, so the, the, the there's local dissipation of energy through to this and transport of energy. But, but it's out relatively this slow. Will but it's so slow that start. each of this each of this layer, this skins, yes. so the, the, the rings, so to say, go might go might get into equilibrium. Yes, yeah. and, 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 and this friction is only very little in the starting Do, do we know something about this coefficient alpha, which is very important here? It must depend on the mm, circulation of the angular velocity of the accretion disk. Does it? Otherwise, this equation does not make sense because what is the component r phi of the stress tensor? Is the response of the medium if the force is in the radial direction and the response is in the phi direction. So that must mean that this depends on the orientation of this friction disk, which way it rotates. Therefore alpha should be a function of uh, angular velocity. It's not a number, it, it's something that depends on... It. But if, if there is, in, in other words, if there is no angular velocity, alpha must be zero. So do you assume something about alpha in your calculations? Accretion disk with no zero uh, angular velocity. Sure, but what numbers do you put for alpha in the calculations? Alpha, 0.1. In what unit? Dimensions. Not dimension. Dimensional. In what unit? The, the stress tensor. Well, we don't know what is the function of uh, We assume that alpha does not depend on omega, but it is finite. But it must depend on omega because yeah, it has some approximation. It has some value for how it is. The same amount. Approximation. Not depends on 
R, on, on Omega. Omega is uh, a capillarian angular velocity. Well defined function. is not a dimensional. It depends how Yeah. 
object is a kind of wind, wind, wind in a perpendicular uh, which is uh, stream of, uh, of uh, matter uh, throughout in a perpendicular current direction and uh, uh, we assume the simple approach of the wind because the total uh, the uh, total stream of wind is proportional to the uh, total uh, energy flow with uh, that coefficient it, uh, it's our assumption it's a simple uh, continuous uh, function uh, growing equal to 1 with n dot uh, equal to 0 and growing in continuously with uh, when we grow the m dot and i is the, the coefficient with this theorem to win energy of, uh, of the uh, particles our disk is, is about the viral energy, energy of this thermal energy and that uh, equation so about the our equator it's a binary system uh, discovered uh, by the satellite integral in 2003 and it uh, has a heartbeat pattern the other outbursts out and outbursts uh, uh, has a period between 5 and 70 seconds and it is believed that it, it is black hole and the mass of between 3 and 10 Then uh, solar masses, uh, we have the binary system black hole and the uh, star. And something about data, I obtained the data from the SWIFT satellite. The SWIFT satellite has a free, uh, has free, uh, free detectors, UV, OT, XRT, and PATS. Uh, XRT is an X-ray detector and I obtained the data from XRT using piece of software and uh, X-select procedure and it's a on a uh, uh, horizontal axis is time to, from 0 to 1000 Seconds, the uh, period between uh, 20 period about 20 seconds of the outburst, and the total rate is between 10 and 90 seconds. The rate of what? what the rate is what the is uh, okay. number of photons. Number of photons on a detector. Yes. Not a huge rate because. Only, only intense because and the error, which is proportional to the square root of of the total rate, so the photon distribution is is uh, big because uh, we Look can what is on the, the x axis time the, uh, time every time but in which units in uh, Years, days. 20 seconds is the period. 20 seconds, 20 is, the period. seconds is the period. Total is, uh, 20 seconds, seconds is the period. Total time of that data is 300 seconds. Yeah. And uh, it is a data and it is um, results from model approach. It's also outbursts and uh, it's not fit it at all because that amplitude here is about uh, 
about uh, between 5 and 10 and here amplitude is over 100 because it is an, in a logarithmic scale it's, the amplitude is over 100 and the period is uh, about uh, 300 but This is in the rest frame of the disk, right? Or the disk system? Well, that's because it's a clock so if it moves with respect to Earth then it looks Earth different Yeah, but also not velocity no, no, no. It depends on velocity. Yeah, but yeah. the probability of velocity is highly non The The outputs from M dot over 0, 0, far uh, adding to a partial rate. Below that. Uh, so this is a different period than the one. It is different, but it is not a complete model because it is a model without V, without wind. Okay, okay. There is discussion, discussion about existence or non-existence of the and, and wind. What, uh, how many free parameters do you have to calculate free, this? Uh, for example, mass, al alpha, for example. Alpha, mass, accretion rate. Uh, so can, the wind pattern, wind can't pattern. you change change alpha, which is sort of unknown, to fit this metric? Not a big difference with changing alpha, and uh, the parameters. It is too big parameter, too uh, too many parameters to to change or all, all of it. It uh, will take the years because we have the. Uh, I decide to uh, vary uh, m dot uh, uh, and uh, wind parameter. It is for wind parameter z. And so think about testing models and the regularity. I uh, make many tries of the model for. Model in I I have the grid from 25 to 100 and the period is uh, are change, changing. This is the second. Second, and I uh, I compute some statistical function like error and variance. It is that and the uh, total number and dura of outbursts and the dura duration of outbursts and the, it is uh, and a result of, of uh, that uh, outbursts are more regular because the variance in, for the uh, there are 44 outbursts for the same data in 20 for 25 uh, points and for 100 points there are only 13 outbursts and the variance is, is comparable it's small to the period small in comparison to the period because the, this is it is below one percent and for 30 variance is 90 is 19 and period is uh, 600 it's about 3 percent because it, it is from the more regular outputs and uh, in further models I use the uh, grid 800 points and it's no were, different were you able to go down with the period to the observed value of 20 seconds? It is for another uh, another parameter. No, I understand that, but the question is quite general. Are you able to explain the difference, the enormous difference, 
it will be observation. The difference is, uh, is due to a lack of wind in that model. And so the model is wrong. No, no, no. no it's uh, wrong. No, because with if it the, is without the wind. Two orders of magnitude difference, then it's wrong. Can you show us here to go with me? I, uh, I. I jump, but uh, if yeah. instead of 20 you get it several over a slides and, and I go to so the uh, my grid of models, I make uh, many models from different parameters of wind. The problem is that we are running out of time, so uh, hey, could you please show yes. the final yes. results? It is one of the final results. We from 0 to 100. From, for we assume wind uh, greater than 10, it is uh, that uh, shaded uh, region, it is a region in which uh, it is fit to the observation. The observation period is between 5 and uh, 70 seconds and uh, uh, amplitude is uh, below 9 for wind. Uh, for wind greater to uh, greater for a greater than ten, it is fit. And there are data which fit periods about twenty seconds. And it is for a equal to fifteen. And something about mass loss. Or, uh, no time because the mass loss uh, is there are only there are also our uh, computation about wind uh, and comparison to the its density uh, its comparison to the its density from the uh, spectral modeling because wind is a uh, gas and it's, the gas has a uh, solar composition also in general uh, huge amount is hydrogen but it is also the uh, iron and the uh, iron has a uh, extra lines and uh, on the extra lines, we have uh, absorption of the uh, discredation and we uh, can uh, measure the density like it. And I and generally the outbursts are huge. We can talk outbursts are huge and stabilized stabilized by wind because the period of outbursts for Greater wind parameter is is uh, smaller, and uh, amplitude is uh, also smaller. And is it possible to compare the value of this wind parameter with other observations? For you can also. See the effects of the wind. Mm -hmm. I'm going to show the uh, my animation of the behavior of the disk. It is density evolution for A equal to fifteen. Outbursts, uh, density is small. It's a radius, a radius of you know, Schwarzschild radius from 3 to 100. And density from minus 5, 5 centi centimeters to uh, yeah, uh, density from minus 10 to minus 5. Uh, Schwarzschild radii, radii and then 10 to the 2. Schwarzschild radii, Schwarzschild radii from the for the dead 
object is about 10 to the 6 centimeters. And another animation of the temperature we have. For the temperature, it is a uh, greater temperature in the uh, closed region between uh, the outers. And it is so the main achievement is to show that to get the agreement with observations, you must include the effects of the wind. Yes, because the yes. only question that I asked before is, are the parameters for the wind reasonable? Because uh, wind is a common phenomenon. There is solar wind and there are other it's kinds. Common is, is this what you get for the this wind strength reasonable or, or not? For spectral modeling, we have uh, in King's paper, we uh, have uh, uh, we have uh, the uh, computation about wind, uh, and for uh, m dot zero point one, the column the no, no, I understand that you can fit the parameter of the wind so that you get the right yeah. period. The question is, is, is this, whether this, is this parameter reasonable? reasonable. No, but reasonable, the, the point Realistic. Is, the, problem, the, the point is, I, I think that phenomenology is okay if it relates various observational phenomena. When creating a model just to observe one phenomenon is not enough, because you should at least have another phenomenon that is which is uh, where the same model with the same parameters uh, describe the other data relatively uh, well. I mean, it's not a theory, it's not exactly, it doesn't fit perf perfect, but it should at least account for the main features. Because if not, then there is a question, uh, what is the value of, of assuming curve some curve, maybe there there. could be a different curve. A, a, a famous physicist, Richard Feynman, used to say that he knows a hell lot of functions. And this is the point. So a similar situation is in a hadronic physics phenomenology, where people come with different mo various models, but only a few models can really account for uh, different, uh, different phenomena, results of different experiments, even in a, in a conceptual sense, so having the same assumptions, so to speak, right? And thinking along the same lines, they can construct a phenomenological description of different experiments. So here there should be a different kind of observation. So he just showed a different kind of observation, which not made by us, but by <coughs> other people, the spectral analysis. What he was doing was the timing analysis of the microquasar and the light curve. And there are also spectral observations showing the presence of this wind. And from the absorption lines in yeah, the spectra, okay. we can measure the density in this wind and relate it to our model's okay. results. Right. Yes. That was my question whether it agrees with other observations of the wind. Yes, seems that it agrees. Okay. And I understand that to defend the speaker, I would say that the fact that outbirds are 
predicted in this model is also some kind of an achievement because outwards are not really such a trivial matter that you have a system in sort of equilibrium and suddenly you have these huge peaks. Usually models give smooth curves. Okay,